We are heading to visit a small scale farmer who is growing wheat about 10 hectares or 10 acres and uh, he's growing uh, the new variety Robin. We have uh, reports of Robin becoming susceptible. So we're trying to visit a farmer's field wherein fungicide was not applied and uh, want to see how bad the disease is in his fields. I've totally failed. The money I, I was to get, it's lost, it's gone by the weed. You see? To harvest it. The harvester can do, cannot do it now. Yeah. yeah. This is a total loss. In the past, we have I've been doing well, but it's only for this year that I'm getting all these problems. This year we have a new race, and that's the reason that you had to spray four times fungicide to control the disease. It's a total failure now. It's a total failure complete because when I was doing it, I was expecting something to get in my pocket, to take or to give to my family. My daughter now was supposed to be in school. Financially now we are very weak. <laughs> we have to wait for another year. The disease itself has failed me for now for here. But also I'm going to do it. I'm going to be back in the field again. I won't lose hope. I want the farmers to understand and be able to control and be able to grow varieties so that they are able to, to, to get enough for themselves. The first priority is educating the children and making sure that they have enough to eat, they are healthy. If you look at the small scale farmers who are not able to produce enough for sale, they are not educating their children. They are not going to hospitals, they are not feeding uh, balanced meals, so you find them so frustrated, dying. Most of their children are dying, but if we can improve on their livelihood, on their production, on their productivity, we are going to improve on their well-being. The farmers we are targeting are the small-scale farmers. In breeding, we are trying to reduce the, the inputs, especially the agrochemicals, so that those farmers can still uh, live more. Our target is to get them to about four tons per hectare. That one will improve the wheat production in Kenya by more than 40%. The biggest problem now are these rusts, especially stem rust, because it's changing too fast. This means we have to keep on breeding, we have to keep on telling the farmers to change the varieties, and that is a big, big, big challenge.